following program is rated G. It is suitable for all audiences. Ang isipan Sa science o agham Tayo na Sa sinisera Buklasin natin Ang siyensya Buksan ang pag-iisip Tayo'y likas Na science Silicon is an element that does not exist in its original form. In order to exist, it always needs the assistance of another element. Really? For instance, even the most abundantly found form of silicon is silicon dioxide. If you want to have a look at it, just visit any area that has a lot of sand. Yes, silicon dioxide is most commonly found as sand. Apart from sand, it is also found in its quartz form and also as diatoms. These are naturally occurring forms. There are various forms of silicon dioxide or silica as it is commonly referred to like silica gel and silicic acid that are synthetically manufactured. The various forms of silicon dioxide have various uses. Silicon dioxide is found in nature in mainly two forms, crystalline and amorphous. Silica in pure sand is the amorphous form while quartz is an example of crystalline silica found in nature. Due to the tetrahedral structure, the melting point of silicon dioxide is very high. The strong silicon oxygen covalent bonds get broken at very high temperatures, close to 1700 degrees Celsius. Also, silicon dioxide is very hard and rigid, and this is again due to the strong covalent bond between silicon and oxygen. Amazing. Due to the absence of free electrons within the molecular structure, Silicon dioxide is a very bad conductor of electricity and acts as an insulator. Silicon dioxide is insoluble in water and in all organic solvents. However, it is soluble in alkalis and hydrofluoric acid. Silicon dioxide is a covalent bonding and forms a network structure. And here are the other chemical properties of silicon dioxide. Silicon dioxide is formed when silicon is exposed to oxygen or air. A very thin layer, approximately 1 nanometer or 10 angstrom, of so-called native oxide is formed on the surface of silicon when exposed to the air under ambient conditions. Higher temperatures and alternate environments are used to grow well-controlled layers of silicon dioxide on silicon. Also, silicon dioxide is attacked by hydrofluoric acid. Hydrofluoric acid is used to remove or pattern silicon dioxide in the semiconductor industry. Applications of silicon dioxide in the modern world are in the fields of glass production, telecommunications, and electronics. Glass production. When silica is heated long enough and hot enough, even without any other external factors, it turns into glass all on its own. This property of turning itself into glass is honed and used to make different types of glass objects. Telecommunication In the world of telecommunication, use of silica is made in the form of optical fibers prepared using silica-based glass. These fibers have high level of heat conductivity, plus they can withstand a lot of high optical damage before they are rendered useless. In the field of electronics, circuit boards. Fused silica has extremely good dielectric and insulating properties. For these reasons, it is used as an inert, low expansion filler material for epoxy resins in electronic circuits. Semiconductors The electrical conductivity of the semiconductors is not as high as that of metals. Nevertheless, they have unique electrical characteristics that render them especially useful. The electrical properties of these materials are incredibly sensitive to the presence of impurities. Silicon is an intrinsic semiconductor, which means that its electrical behavior is based on its inherent electronic structure. Silicon 
Sa bukas ng ating bayan, siguradong makakasama.